Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Apocalypse. We are back. This is episode two. Can't talk with that thing on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Welcome to the Apocalypse, episode two. I had to bring you all back because during the last episode, I gave you a little bit of bad advice. I told you you all you needed to find a crew. Apparently, the government found a cure for coronavirus it's called social distancing. You know what that is. That's what happened to you back in high school. What you're gonna have to do, preppers that you found, you're gonna have to leave them all behind. It's every man for himself in this world. Let's get into a couple more Apocalypse life hacks that you ain't gonna find on Pinterest. Number one, you gotta get yourself a Gadsden flag and some cool gun related t-shirts that show people that you are not one to be trifled with. You need to get a sweet liberty or death shirt or you need to get a shirt with guns on it. You need to get a shirt with wolves howling at the moon. A NASCAR shirt. Any driver is acceptable except Jeff Gordon. He gets on your shirt, f you, you're on your own. You need a shirt with sharks on it. Next tip I got for you is you gotta learn to be proficient with melee weapons. You can't always count on being able to take out Kyle and Carolyn when they're creeping on your supplies with your Glock. You don't want to bring attention to yourself. What you need is a good melee weapon. I'm going to recommend for those of you preppers on a budget, Harbor Freight has this beautiful 18 inch stainless steel machete. It has a blade that is sharp enough to circumcise a warthog. On the backside you got yourself a tactical back scratcher, but you got to be careful this bad boy. Also, it's sharp. Steph tried to use it the other day, laid her back wide open. Couldn't take her to the hospital. I had to sew her up with a fishing hook and some trialene 20 pound test line. Next, find some activities for the young'uns. My kids aren't athletic. They like books and shit. I'm not talking that government propaganda shit either. I'm talking some real righteous books. Couldn't find any, so I wrote my own. I wrote one called Kyle is a Pussy, and I wrote Don't Cough on Me, Commie. They're both good little family books that you can sit around a little bonfire and read while you're roasting marshmallows. I also wrote a book for young adults. It's called Taxation is Theft. And, uh, you know, the little kids, they need something to do. My kids like coloring books. But once again, you want to avoid that government propaganda. You know, you don't want your kid reading Peppa Pig. Bull shit. Give her an AR-15 and one of those Harbor Freight machetes, and you got Peppa Pig. That's a righteous apocalypse character. My last piece of advice for tonight is when you're making those supply runs, because things are starting to show back up on the store shelves, you want a vehicle that shows you mean business. You can't be out on the road in no a Toyota Prius. Hell no. There's only one acceptable vehicle for you to have during the apocalypse. That's a Jeep Wrangler. Any trim level except Sahara. F Sahara. I will also accept the Toyota FJ Cruiser. And if I see you out there in a Prius or a Tesla, I'm going to hip check you off the road. You go out there to get your supplies. Think you're a fellow man. They're all struggling. Think of someone else beside yourself. Help them out. You never know when you're going to need their help. So I want you all to know that our medical professionals are working very hard to ensure that we beat this coronavirus. Anyway, till Bahala, I will see you guys on the other side.